What's up with it, though? Yeah, nigga did a lot of dry snitching, man. Um, Y'all see that state of us? Uh, what's it called? State of the culture? Oh. Uh, state of culture? State of the culture. With Joe Budden and Remy? That was some shit, man. I like Remy. Remy ain't playing. Remy put the nigga Joe on blast. Like, nigga, nobody give a fuck about no machine gun Kelly this, nigga. What are you gonna do, nigga? Yeah, Remy Ma was with the shit. Theory, I fuck with Remy Ma, man. And Joe was like, yeah, that bullshit album. They're like, no, that shit is hot. <laughs> no, you think it's bullshit because he dissed you, nigga. So, my thing is this, man. Is Joe Button afraid to respond to this nigga? Because you gotta add it up. This nigga dissed you, said your name on a video, said you, the nigga since you had, you been smacking bitches, said something about your, you know, spousal abuse, whatever, you, you know, allegedly happened back in the day. Nigga, Drake did some, like, subliminals that nobody caught but you and him. You know what I mean? You had to explain, like, well, shit, I heard this, uh, the snippet song way, way back after I uh, dated some girl, and uh, nobody knew all that shit. He didn't even say your name, and you did, like, a whole fucking album towards that nigga for that subliminal that nobody knew about but you. And still, niggas will listen to it like, he ain't talking about you, nigga. But this nigga M says your name, shout you the fuck out. Bring it to the table, nigga. And you like, yeah, man, well, uh, somebody got to say something real. What? Nigga, Drake said some subliminal shit, and you rolled with it. Like, you was obsessed with Drake, nigga. You was going, like, back to back. Nigga, you're like, if he went back to back on Meek Mill, nigga, you went, like, back to back to back to back. Like, nigga, I had, like, seven diss on I had, like, an EP. They got a fucking EP against Drake. And it was a sneak diss that nobody knew but you and him. Now the nigga M put you on blast, nigga. Talk about, nigga, your, your, your spousal abuse, all types of... What, nigga? Oh, man, I'm gonna eat, man. The cracker gonna get crushed, nigga. It's gonna be a motherfucking... What? What the nigga LL said? <laughs> Pink cookies in a crass plastic bag getting crushed by a building? Pink crackers in a plastic bag getting crushed by a building? I would crush that nigga if I was Joe. If a nigga diss me, if M came at me, I'm gonna give it to him. I don't give a fuck who he is. I'm gonna give it to him. Period. No Frank Ocean, nigga. He gonna get these bars, nigga. All gas, no brakes. M gonna get the bars. Period. Joe, nigga, I don't give a fuck what type of hot handle you got with this podcast shit. These goddamn shows, nigga. What? Drake made you write, nigga. Write some shit, nigga. M came at your head, nigga. I feel like Remy Ma, nigga. You got a gas, nigga. Nigga, that nigga's praising Machine Gun Kelly. Like, come on, man. It took white on white crime. And you still ain't responded, nigga. That a, my thing is this. Machine Gun Kelly this was like the kryptonite for him, to me. It showed his vulnerability. You know what I mean? Like, oh, shit. He could be touched. Like, niggas thought M was untouchable until Machine Gun did his thing. Now, Joe, you knowing that nigga could be touched just from Machine Gun, you know you could write a rhyme a thousand times better than this Machine Gun Kelly shit that'll really annihilate a motherfucker. You over here like, yeah, man, I want somebody to say something. He said something, nigga. He said more than Drake. And you wrote an EP on the nigga, man. Like, come on, man, fuck out of here, bro. You don't want that problem. Motherfucking, uh, Remy Ma say you pussy, you scared because you know he'll fuck you over. Period. It is what it is. Like, you thought you was dope in the motherfucking arsenal on the freestyle shit. Did the MTV, whatever, that slaughterhouse battle rap shit and got cooked. You know, start arguing at the crowd, my nigga. So, Joe, you don't want that Eminem beef. That's why you ain't responding. Drake, a singing nigga. He a singing nigga. He, he does, you know, punchlines and shit, but he more of a singer, so he ain't no battle rapper. M is a fucking battle rapper that come from the battle rapper cloth, nigga. You know what I mean? Nigga, his first group was from New Jersey, nigga, the outsiders. Nigga, he's out there with Red Man and them, nigga. That's how he, you know, that's how he get his style a little bit from Red Man, you know what I mean? Because he was part of their group, nigga. So he come from the shit where you had to spit, Joe. He's right, he's out there with you. You know he is out there in Jersey. You heard about him being in Jersey when you was a little boy. You heard about that white boy with the outsiders. You dig? So at the end of the day, my nigga Joe, you ain't ready for that type of lyrical uh, words, that battle. You weren't ready for Crooked Eye. He's like, yo, I got to get prepared for you. Like, no, nigga, I'm ready. Nigga, Crooked Eye would have said that shit to me. I love that, man. That's my guy. But Crooked ever say, nigga, like, yo, man, yeah, we, we, 
nigga, I'm gonna write my ass off. Yeah, I probably lose. Who cares? I'm going for it. I don't give a fuck, nigga. This rap is a sport, my nigga. This is the the the, the, the most competition in anything in life. This more competitive than fucking baseball, football, basket. This is a competitive sport. Everybody want to be the fucking best. So when a nigga call you out on your game, nigga say, oh, nigga, you ain't, nigga, I got a better three-pointer than you. I can dunk better than you, nigga. My crossover better than you. For real, nigga? Let's hit the court. <laughs> Let's hit the court. You up for the challenge, my nigga? That's rap. Period. And it's all friendly. You know what I mean? It's all friendly.